So I've had two shots, but I had a had an answer a uh, question. Sorry, I had to answer a question uh, made on my YouTube channel about what I thought about AI and how it would you know possibly replace software development engineers. And I gotta say that. I don't think AI will actually replace software development engineers in any way. What I do believe is that it's become a tool to create technical debt because what's happened is you can't possibly give all the business context to an LLM model. You have to do prompt engineering to get anything useful out of it. And the problem with the code is that based on the defined scope, you often have to just get code back that is bad and will actively require that you recode it in the future because it's not dry enough, it's not solid enough, it doesn't contain the right design patterns, etc. And so as a result of that, I don't believe that so-called artificial intelligence using an LLM, which is really just spell check weaponized to look like a chatbot. Uh really has the power to do that. What I have noticed is that if I want something exceedingly simple that is just kind of grunt work that I don't want to have to mess with and I can, you know, write a good paragraph or two to describe it, I can get that automated away to a point where I can write a, get a script written for me. I can then look at the code, fix the errors in it because it will always have errors. And, you know, I'll have, you know, a 20% solution to start with. But I don't believe that as a software development engineer, it's possible for somebody who is not a software development engineer and does not have that context in their head to then be able to successfully give that context to a software development platform such as an LLM, such as OpenAI or whatever. Uh, because they just don't exist that way. You can't be a software development engineer without being a software development engineer. And so in order to give the robot, the AI, the context it needs to give the solution that it needs to give you to solve the business problem, you have to be a software development engineer so that you can use the right words and use the right context and everything that it's going to require to get the answer that you want. There is no magic way that a business person who would otherwise provide no value can suddenly use an LLM to create code because they're not going to understand the code that's given to them and they're not going to understand the hallucinations in the code and they're going to get a solution that will not work. Uh, most importantly, they will not be able to direct the the LLM or, or delegate to it effectively because they do not have an engineering background. And so as a result of that, I don't feel that it's even possible for an artificial intelligence to replace software development engineers. What I do feel is as a software development engineer who has an open AI account and has looked at it for using it for stupid, stupid things, you know, if I don't, if I don't, like I forget an algorithm name or something and I need to go look it up and have an implementation of it done. And I, I know the general description of it. I can do that. And then I can get the algorithm name and then I can go do the work. Right. Or maybe even, you know, maybe I've already got a, a, a library that does it already. And I can ask chat GBT to summarize the documentation because let's face it, most documentation either sucks or it's so overly verbose that it's unusable. And so having, you know, ChatGBT summarize something that's been public anyway is actually kind of useful in that it cuts through the bullshit and the crap of the people who add the documentation in a clear attempt to make it unusable and, and just, you know, get the work done. But the fact is, the AI is not going to do the work for you. You still have to do that work. You still have to understand best practices. You still have to put the work in, and you still have to do the due diligence and learn so that you know and have the correct thing in your head to be able to give to the AI later and to be able to spot the fact that the AI is bullshitting you. And so as a result of that, no, 
I do not believe that AI will ever replace software development engineers. And I also believe that what's going to happen is as part of the whole AI revolution or whatever, what's going to happen is a lot of companies are going to hire some random asshole who doesn't really know what he's doing. He's going to pretend that he knows what he's doing. He's going to use an AI to write a bunch of code. He's going to get something that kind of works. And then he's going to get fired because he's incompetent and unable to actually maintain that code. Then our new team will come in and go, what the fuck is this code? And they'll start the normal brownfield development process of having to maintain the code, refactor it, do the work to actually refactor things and make things drier and solid, etc. And then from that point, you'll have businesses that will have to put a lot of effort and investment into spending money just for dev time to just sit there and fix shit for a few months and effectively rebuild the entire product from scratch to the point where it's actually usable again from a development standpoint. And that cost is going to be baked into dev salaries is my hope. My hope is that AI actively makes that easier by effectively raising software development engineering salaries again, because they're going to be so needed to fix the crap that AI creates.